In the 2016 Olympic Games, one of the all-time greatest running moments took place. In the men's 400-meter finals, we saw a massive world record from the South African superstar Wade Van Niekerk. Running all the way out in lane 8, Van Niekerk managed to run this full lap in 43.03 seconds, a mind-bending achievement that now put him 0.15 seconds ahead of the previously untouchable record of Michael Johnson. This one-lap gold was a moment of unchallenged and unbeatable excellence, and even though many didn't know it at the time, this just might have been the single greatest performance of the entire Rio Olympics throughout any sport on that month. Since this performance, no other athlete has even been close to this time. In fact, the closest that anyone has been is actually Michael Norman in 2019, where he ran a time of 43.45 seconds, more than four-tenths of a second slower than Van Niekerk's world record. At the time, this South African sprinter was on top of the world, completely unrivaled, and from many different perspectives, he just might have been the most versatile and well-rounded sprinter of all time. And even though he was on a clear path to greatness for at least the next few seasons, an untimely injury in 2017 took Van Niekerk completely out of running for the next few seasons. Just two months after successfully winning his third straight 400-meter global title, Van Niekerk competed in a celebrity rugby match, where, unfortunately, he tore his ACL, and despite his best efforts, he didn't run for the entirety of 2018 or 2019. For two straight seasons, this African all-star of speed was sidelined with injury, and at the time, it really did seem as though his career just might have been over. However, against all odds and against all the negative perspectives surrounding Wade Van Niekerk, he completely flipped the switch, and he did it in the most impressive way possible, improving slowly but steadily throughout every single season that followed. Starting in 2020, Van Niekerk made a very impressive return to form, running a season's best of 45.58, which was quite the ways away from his personal record, but still a good time nonetheless. In 2021, he continued his improvements to 44.56 seconds, and then in 2022, he again made a big step forward, running a time of 44.33. Now, this 44.33 performance was a big ending to his 2022 season, as he ran against one of the greatest 400 athletes of all time in Karani James from Grenada. And with a very strong final 100 meters, Van Niekerk finished with extreme strength over this final stretch, and he ended his season on a very high note. It had been quite some time since Wade had come out on top in a big international race like this, and with this single victory, he has brought some crazy momentum into 2023, because over the course of just a few months, he has managed to drop his fastest times since 2017, running a time of 44.17 on April 1st to win the South African Championships. He's run under 44.5 on two more occasions in June. However, his most recent race at this year's Diamond League meeting in Silesia, Poland, proves that Wade Van Niekerk, the world record holder in the 400, is not just back, he just might be the athlete to beat in this year's World Finals. With a smooth but strong opening 200, he went out with a purpose on this one lap race. But just watch how fast he closes this final 100 meters. With a noticeable change of pace, Van Niekerk closed this final 100 like a train. With his arms pumping and his legs lifting, Van Niekerk not only won this 400 meters, he broke the meeting record by 3 one hundredths of a second, winning in 44.08 seconds, which is his fastest time since 2017. Also, to make matters even sweeter, he broke the meeting record of Michael Norman, who ran a time of 44.11 in 2022. This race was a perfect display of Van Niekerk's capabilities right now, and even against some of the world's best sprinters, including the United States champion this year, he came out on top by more than half of a second. But what really impressed me was once again the final 100, and when we take a closer look at what exactly happened over this final stretch, it will showcase something amazing that might prove Van Niekerk's unbeatable status right now. Through the opening 200 meters, Van Niekerk split a time of 21.21 seconds, which at this point in the race already placed him in the lead. Now through the opening 300 meters, he split a time of 32.28, which again was the fastest in this field. However, his final 100 meters was achieved in 11.80 seconds, which is actually even faster than his final 100 meters in the 2016 Olympic Games. 
Back in the 2016 Olympics, Van Niekerk ran his final 100 in 12.03 seconds. And for this final stretch, it even caught the announcers off guard with just how fast he was closing. This was clearly a super strong and super fast close, and even against the best in the world in a big Diamond League event, Van Niekerk outclassed the field significantly. Now, it is important to mention that through the opening 300 meters of the 2016 Olympics, Van Niekerk was actually more than a second faster than his most recent performance, as he split a time of 31.0 seconds, which was certainly a red-hot tempo, but he was still able to close quite fast in 12.03. For the past two seasons, Van Niekerk has made consistent strides on the global stage. In 2021, he wasn't quite able to make it to the finals, but he did run a time of 45.15 in the preliminary rounds. In 2022, he actually did make it to the finals. However, he was only able to finish fifth in 44.97. However, 2023 is looking drastically different. And if Van Niekerk can stay on the trajectory that he has already built for himself this season, he has a very good chance to not just win a medal from this year's global finals, but he has a solid chance to win the gold medal. If Van Niekerk can pull off the task of achieving world championship greatness, it will unquestionably be one of the most incredible comebacks in modern athletics history. To stay so focused for so long while battling against the world's best runners is one of the most amazing displays of determination that I have ever seen. But now to be the possible favorite heading into the world championships is some next level excellence in sprinting. There is a real argument to be made that Van Niekerk is quite possibly the greatest all-around sprinter of all time. He's fulfilled the sub-10, sub-20, and sub-44 second time barriers over the primary sprinting categories, which only two other athletes have ever achieved. He's a three-time global champion over the 400 meters. He's won a global silver in the 200 meters. But what just might be the single greatest sprinting achievement of all time actually comes from his 2017 season, where he broke all expectations over the course of just one month's time. Remember just a few moments ago how we discussed that only three athletes have ever gone sub-10, sub-20, and sub-44? Well, back in 2017, in four straight races, Van Niekerk went sub-10, sub-20, sub-31 in the 300, and sub-44 in the 400 meter dash. On June 10th, he ran the 200 meters in 19.84 in Jamaica. On June 20th, he ran a time of 9.94 seconds over the 100 meters. Moving forward on June 28th, he set the still standing world record in the 300 meters, clocking a time of 30.81. And then to top it off on July 6th of 2017, he ran a lightning quick 400 in 43.62, which actually took down the 21 year old meeting record of none other than Michael Johnson. In four straight races in just under one month's time, Van Niekerk did what only two other athletes have ever done throughout their entire careers. So it's pretty fair to say that in 2017, Van Niekerk was on top of the world. It is a very challenging task to claw your way back to the top after six straight years of returning to form. However, with endless grit, this man has done it, and I cannot wait to see what he does in this year's World Finals. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.